Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again today with the Week 16 Weekly Update. This week we're going to start out with the Wee Knives Wisp. This is a full titanium frame lock flipper. It has a ceramic ball bearing pivot for fast and smooth deployment. And you can see here it's got a very decisive deployment with a dialed in detent. The blade is made from CPM S35VN. So you're going to get similar performance to S30V, excellent edge retention and corrosion resistance with enhanced toughness on S35VN, which allows for a very fine thickness behind the edge. Fairly thin blade stock on this, two-tone finish with black DLC on the grinds and the swedge, and a nice satin finish on the flats. Full titanium construction in the handles with carbon fiber inlays. These are contoured and along with the chamfered edges make for a very comfortable in-hand grip. You've got a fully functional index finger choil here for detail work. We've got blue anodized titanium hardware and these are Torx bits so you do get a little bit more ease in maintenance and adjustment. 3D machined titanium pocket clip on this one, and it is reversible, so you can set this up for tip up only right or left hand carry. We'll bring out the Para 3 here for a little comparison. Very similar size in both the blade length and the handle length. Functional grip area is the same. You get a little more edge on the Wii. The major difference you're going to see here is in the blade stock thickness. So you can see that we is really going to slice well thanks to the thin stock and the shallow hollow grind. The overall handle thickness is going to be very comparable here. So if you like a nice compact EDC that is going to perform very well, then the Wisp is an excellent choice. Now the Wisp's younger brother here is the Vapor. So very similar design and construction. A little more slender blade, same materials. This one has a full tumbled finish. You do have that eye hole for another opening option. And then of course the index flipper as well. Also writing on ceramic bearings. Same handle construction, similar design, a little longer carbon fiber backspacer here. And it does have jimping on there for texturing as well. So if you want something just a little smaller than the Wisp, the Vapor is an excellent choice. We have the Wisp also in a full satin blade with a gray finished titanium for the handles. And then we also have the Vapor in a blue anodized handle with a fully black coated blade. And you can see there is a very subtle tumbling on that black blade. And if you like the Wisp and you're looking for a little bit more of a workhorse, check out the Rectifier. It's got the same CPM S35 VN blade with shallow hollow grind, a little more height in the blade, giving more durability while still retaining a very thin stock and a fine point for detail work. It rides on the same ceramic bearing pivot, can be deployed via the thumb hole or the index flipper. You've got a rugged and simple G10 front scale, blue anodized titanium Torx hardware, a regular tumbled titanium backspacer with jimping and a lanyard hole, and a 3D machined type pocket clip that can be reversed for right or left hand tip up only carry. Now we have this in a few different variants. We've got the two-tone black and satin with OD green scale, the tan and tumbled blade, We've got the two-tone with a black scale, and then we have the tumbled and satin with a black scale as well. And for a quick size comparison, we have the Wisp, the Vapor, the Rectifier, and the Spyderco Para 3. And now we're going to segue into our new Riot knives with some oldies but goodies. We have the Riot Wave, and this is currently on sale. It's a full flat ground blade of Buller's M390 for excellent corrosion and wear resistance. Nice stonewashed finish on that. 
three machined titanium handle scales with these very detailed inlays, lots of milling and anodization here, titanium backspacer with lanyard hole, right hand tip up only 3D machined tie pocket clip, matching inlay on the back, hardened steel lock face and ceramic ball bearing pivot for excellent deployment. Great mid-size EDC there, just a little bit larger than the Wisp. And then we have this, which is the Riot Epoch. We have a few different flavors of this also on sale. These all have Mokutai inlays, 204P blades, which is Carpenter's analog to M390. This one has a dark tumbled finish on the blade, very handsome and rugged, with a matching tumbled and blue anodized handle and pocket clip. We've got a ceramic ball bearing for the tension on the pocket clip for a very secure carry. And then this one also has the dark tumbled blade and then a tumbled bronze anodized finish on the handle. So all these Riots are currently on sale and make excellent options for very classy and high performance everyday carry knives. And one of the new releases from Riot Knives is the new Torrent. So this is a remake of their classic Torrance design. You've got the same harpoon tip blade. You've got a high height saber grind on this with satin finish on the grinds and the swedge and a tumbled finish on the flats. Oversized stop pin thumb studs and these are fully functional for deployment. And then of course you have the index flipper as well. Fast and smooth deployment on those ceramic bearings. The blade is RWL34, which is Dama Steel's version of CPM154. Excellent performance there in all fronts. Edge retention, corrosion resistance, and toughness, as well as being very easy to sharpen and taking a very fine finish. Bronze anodized finish on the titanium here. You have carbon fiber and titanium inlays, and the titanium inlays match the hardware. 3D machine type pocket clip with the ceramic tension ball. Very secure carry on this one. A nice generous lanyard hole at the back. This is set up for right hand tip up only carry. And get a little more detail on those inlays on the front. And these of course are also equipped with Torx hardware for convenience and maintenance and adjustment. Full titanium backspacer with matching divots and just a great large size everyday carry for some serious use. As is the next knife, which is the Riat Knives Valhalla. This knife is a collaboration with custom knife maker Fazla Yemen. It also features an RWL 34 blade and you've got a Persian style upswept tip here, high height saber grind, some nice fullers on the flats and some jimping on the spine excellent grip very comfortable in the hand full titanium frame lock construction with a tumbled finish and some milling and then you've got a flame anodized titanium backspacer and right hand tip up only pocket clip so same excellent ceramic pivot design and hardened steel lock face insert and as with the torrent we've got a few different flavors of this we have a tumbled finish blade and then another handle design with a milled window in the handle. And you can pop over and check out our overviews of both of these knives on our YouTube channel as well. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your Week 16 Weekly Update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.